In the past, I tried making a global leaderboard GUI, but I completely failed. I couldn't even make the GUI to work properly, and I just didn't know what to do. Until today, I found a free model in Roblox Studio that has a script that I can modify to make my very own global leaderboard. And y'all guys will be able to compete with each other and earn wins. I started off by just checking the model and trying to understand how does it work. I'm curious on what did I miss previously when I tried making one. I was looking at the scripts and the items that make the leaderboard function properly. I didn't really understand anything, so I just tried taking my vault leader stats script and saw that it's definitely not going to work like that. My leader stats folder isn't even creating anymore in local player, and I couldn't find the issue even with changing the proper leader stats name. I thought that something was wrong with this base plate, so I switched to a new one and wrote a script that finds the leader stats folder now it should work. Let's go, the folder got created. Let me try changing the wins value and see if the leaderboard updates. Let's go, it does. I have pretty much created the concept of the script and tested it with multiple players, which also works. Their image and usernames are loading because they don't have a username. I didn't really like the look of the leader stats, so I found out on how to change it and used freedoka one font. You gotta admit, it looks better now. Now I need to combine it with my current leaderboard frame. Oh, of course I didn't save my leaderboard frame. And I have to make the icon of the frame all over again. I used the same concept as my other shop scripts. I thought everything worked until I tested it. And now the shop button doesn't even work properly. I think the script I added messed up the wall script. And now everything doesn't work. And it's useless. Let me try locating the leaderboard frame and adding an event click handle to it. Okay, close button is not a valid member. I wonder why. Oh, I misspelled the name. The B needs to be a capital letter. Now the shop at least opens. But still, the leaderboard doesn't function at all. I added a separate script for the leaderboard frame and now it works, except the blur is always on. I fixed it by just making the leaderboard frame not visible. Never mind, there's still a bug. When you close the frame, it doesn't disable the blur. Eventually I fixed it by deleting the old script, then I took the scrolling frame and imported it in my GUI. I used this plugin called Autoscale Lite to make the GUI scale properly for all devices. Let's go, everything works smoothly now. You know how there's a gameplay pause there when you're teleporting? Yeah, my towers are 50k studs away from spawn, Bruh. and that makes the game really glitchy. Which means I have to transfer all of the parts to the spawn. Time for a speed build montage! Okay stop, it's been so hours already and I still haven't even figured out on how to move the towers. Okay, finally I figured it out. Now I just need to readjust teleport C frames. What is this random block now? Like, what's happening? I couldn't click on it fast enough, so I slowed the clip down and found that Fogmaker was unanchored. And I fixed that right away. The update is live right now. Good luck grinding to the B on the top!